हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एम चंद कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्लाउसियस मसोटी इक्वेशन लेट्स वेगेन इन ऑर्डर टू को रिलेट द माइक्रोस्कोपिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डाइलेक्ट्रिक एंड माइक्रोस्कोपिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ आटम्स टू साइंटिस्ट वन क्लावसियस एंड अनादर मसोटी डिराइव द रिलेशन बिटवीन द डाइलेक्ट्रिक कंस्टन हुई वन इज माइक्रोस माइक्रोस्कोपिक पैरामीटर एंड आटोमिक पोलराइजेबिलिटी हुई वन इज द माइक्रोस्कोपिक पैरामीटर इज कॉल्ड क्लावसियस मसोटी equation in the previous video lecture we have already discussed about local electric field at an atom and the final expression we have local इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड आटन आटम ये लोकल इज इक्वल टू ई वेक्टर प्लस पी वेक्टर डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री इफ्साइल नट लोकल इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एट एन आटम मींस द रेजल्टेंट इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एट एन आटम और मॉलेक्यूल दैट प्रेजेंट इनसाइड दैट ऑफ डायलेक्ट्रिक्स दैट इज बी द मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ लोकल इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एट एन आटम वी ऑलरेडी नो इट क्वेर पी दट इज द पोलराइजेशन एंड ई इज द सम ऑफ एक्सटर्नल इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड प्रोड्यूस ड्यू टू polarization we know it let we take small p vector is the dipole moment of each atom then as far as the local electric field at an atom is concerned p is directly proportional to that of e local therefore that small p vector directly proportional with e local or p we can use a proportionally constant let that proportionally constant is alpha e local where alpha that is the atomic polarizability if uh, again let small n be the number of atoms per unit volume of 
dielectric then the entire polarization polarization for unit volume is polarization capital P vector is equal to number of atoms per unit volume in that of dielectric small n into small p vector or p vector is equal to n value of small p vector that is the dipole moment of each atom which one is alpha into E local or P vector is equal to N alpha E local the expression for E local E vector plus P vector divided by 3 epsilon naught E vector plus P vector divided by 3 epsilon naught or p vector divided by n alpha is equal to e vector plus p vector divided by 3 epsilon naught. That one let equation number 1. We know the expression for displacement vector we know the relation of displacement vector as d vector the displacement vector epsilon naught e vector plus p vector the equation number i and again d vector as epsilon naught k e vector whereas k dielectric constant dielectric constant from equation 1 and 2 when we relate from equation i and double i we get epsilon naught e vector plus p vector is equal to epsilon naught k e vector or is that term to this side so it will be epsilon naught k e vector minus epsilon naught e vector is equal to p vector or e taken as common on that of expression so it will be epsilon naught again common k minus 1 e vector is equal to p vector therefore e vector is equal to p vector divided by epsilon naught k minus 1 and equation number 2 
and that value of E we can put in equation number 1. Putting the value of E in equation number 1 we get what was equation number 1 that is p by p vector divided by n alpha is equal to e vector so value of e vector as p vector divided by epsilon naught k minus 1 plus again p vector divided by 3 epsilon naught is equal to p divided by epsilon naught as common 1 divided by k minus 1 plus 1 divided by 3 is equal to p vector divided by epsilon naught taking the LCM 3 will into k minus 1 this 3 plus k minus 1 is equal to p vector divided by epsilon naught k plus 2 divided by 3 whole into k minus 1 is equal to p vector divided by 3 to that of outside 3 epsilon naught in that of bracket that is k plus 2 divided by k minus 1. which one equal to p vector divided by n alpha so p vector p vector cancel out on each side 1 divided by n alpha is equal to 1 divided by 3 epsilon naught k plus 2 divided by k minus 1 or alpha is equal to 3 epsilon naught divided by n whole into k minus 1 divided by k plus 2. This is the required expression this equation is called Clausius Masotti equation Clausius Masotti equation that is the relation between macroscopic properties of dielectric that macroscopic properties of dielectric determined by the dielectric constant k and the microscopic properties of atom and that microscopic properties of atom is determined by the atomic polarizability alpha is the atomic polarizability which one is the microscopic parameter in this way clausius mosotti equation relates both microscopic as well as macroscopic properties in case of solids again that expression can further be written as if uh, we use the symbol epsilon r relative permeability sorry relative permittivity epsilon r 
फॉर के देन द एटमिक पोलराइजेबिलिटी अल्फा इज इक्वल टू थ्री इफ साइल नॉट डिवाइडेड बाय एन इफ साइल आर माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाय इफ साइल आर प्लस टू द इक्वेशन नर्स क्लासेस मॉसोटी equation here with the help of this video lecture we understand the concept of clausius mosotti equation in order to relate macroscopic as well as microscopic properties in case of solids first we prefer the local electric field at an atom and that expression for local electric field which is also known as the lorentz field as the scientist lorentz introduced that method in order to calculate the local electric field at an atom that we have already discussed that expression in the previous video then taking the dipole moment of an atom how it relates to that of local electric field of an atom then proceeds mathematically and in order to calculate e vector we use the relations of displacement vectors and comparing these two equations the value of e is derived and the value of e is put it in that of equation number 1 and simplifying that one we finally derived the expression which is known as clausius mosotti equation further if we write in case of k as epsilon r then that equation represents in that form so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session thank you